what's up? He's a prank, he's a prank, bro. He's a prank, he's a prank. 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 Because what? He'll be busy creating content at the uh, guard room. 
if they catch him and they take him to the guard room, then he will, he will show them why he has the authority to go and take off a soldier's cap. Is it really necessary? Is it necessary? I see certain pranks that people do, and I feel like, one, it's dangerous to the content creator. Two, it's dangerous to the person that they are pranking. You don't know the person from anywhere. You don't know the person's medical history. You don't know what, what, what. And then you just go and prank the person. This thing happened in America some time ago. The content creator lost his life. Apparently, he was walking around with a machete or whatever. Like pranking people. Hey, me me cow. Yeah, I'll catch you. I'll catch. That kind of thing. And they will say, oh, it's a prank. It's a prank. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a prank. No, no, there was one person who was having a gun for a self-defense. Pay, pay, pay. The guy's last words that he said was, it's a prank, bro. And he died. It's sad. Now, moving on to the next story. These guys decided to pull a prank on our sisters who have been doing this hookah hookah B.I. Don't ask, don't come and ask me you and whose sister. It's our sister. <laughs> Nigeria. What is wrong with Nigeria? <laughs> huh? What is wrong? Because you people didn't go to the World Cup, so people are just doing anyhow. <laughs> huh? Because you didn't go to the World Cup, you are doing anyhow or what? What is going on? Now these people decided to prank this lady. They they went to the website to go and get the lady. She charges um. 15,000 naira, which is roughly 500 cities or so. Yes, roughly. Almost. And this lady got to the room. Now she said, Sana, this hookup for no. When they come, they don't, there's no exchange of pleasantries. So. No talking, no getting to know each other, no familiarity. She got there, she just decided to get on the bed, you know, take off the top, get on the bed and get ready for the client. All of a sudden, one person came out of the bathroom with somebody who is acting like a dead body. <laughs> hey, watch this video. So, me and my crew decided to play a ritual prank on some hookup girls who went to a website, a dating website, don't want to say the name, and we got some girls for hookup. And this particular one charged 15K. See, she's where we last see checking out the room to see how good the bed is as you can see she's relaxed and uh, she opened her purse meanwhile we were trying to pull some stunt on her she doesn't know she's actually waiting for the the client that invited her she's taking off her dress to get ready for action as you can see she's very relaxed she's adjusting uh, a dress to make sure that the client will be impressed with what she's carrying so she's the last waiting and uh, the first uh, stunt we put on her was to bring out a dead person from the bathroom and you can see she's shocked and she doesn't know what to do I think she picked Jesus up her clothes Jesus. and she wanted to leave Of here then the people came like they are coming to use her for a sacrifice and then this lady started struggling 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 and all of a sudden she she fainted they woke her up when she fainted, they were scared and this is another part of this whole thing they were scared because what what if she dies on you are you going to tell the court that it was a prank you don't know her medical history hey watch this side of the video and she passed out and we had nothing to do we had to go get water and then when she woke up they decided to tell her it's a prank and when they told her it's a prank this was her reaction Yes, yes, don't do it again, don't do it again. <laughs> don't do it again. What kind of plane is this? What kind of plane is this? Now these are the kind of pranks that people are pulling on people. If you are operating a prank channel 
for whatever, be, be very careful. Because most of the successful pranks that you see on the internet, you know, they are all acting. It's acting. It's usually their friends, people they know. That will act like they don't know them and they'll do certain things. So if you go and watch somebody's prank, that is an acting. And you think you can go and do the same thing. And you go and do it to somebody in real life, the person is angry already because life is beating the person up. You end up being hurt. So please, be very careful when you are doing prank videos. Now let me know in the comment section what you think about all this. The soldier prank and also the, um, the hook, hook up prank. Let me know what you think about these prank videos. And your honest opinion, whether you think it's necessary to do these kind of things, especially to unsuspecting a, um, a people you don't know. Unsuspecting pedestrians and individuals. If you are pranking your family members, you know they are your family members. If you are pranking your friends, you know they are your friends. You can team up with your friends to act as if something, something, and then you prank each other. Get your views. If you make money, make money and go. But to come and prank somebody walking here somewhere, a soldier, and also a lady who is doing her job trying to earn a living. Some people are saying because of this prank, she, uh, it will discourage them from doing. Do you know the kind of things they see? Do you know the kind of things that these hookup for me they see? And so, every day they go and do the job. <laughs> you don't know. Anyway, watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about headless. Got it? Yeah, Paul.